Without fans, there would be no WWE. But not every fan is created equal. While most fans just want to watch good wrestling, some fans have gotten a little too obsessed with the product. From invading the ring and attacking wrestlers to serious incidents of stalking, here are 10 so-called fans who are banned from WWE for life. Starting with Number 10, Seth Rollins Attacker. In November 2021, during an episode of Raw, one incident showcased just how much risk wrestlers expose themselves to week after week. A deranged fan, later identified as 24-year-old Elsa Spencer, jumped the barricade as Seth was returning up the ramp from his match with Finn Balor. Spencer tackled Seth to the ground and busted his lip open before Seth managed to get Spencer in a headlock and roll to safety. Security rushed in and arrested the young fan, but what followed afterwards was perhaps more disturbing than the attack itself. Spencer claimed that he'd been in contact with Rollins for years via Twitter, and Rollins had apparently asked Spencer for money and gift cards, which Spencer had compiled with to the tune of around $500. Spencer even made video recordings vowing revenge on Rollins for taking his money, but of course, the man Spencer was in contact with was simply a scammer pretending to be Rollins. Number 9. The WrestleMania Streaker Wrestling has more than one royal streak. Everyone's familiar with The Undertaker's legendary unbeaten stretch at WrestleMania, but WrestleMania 23 saw a different kind of streak. Right before the bell rang for the main event match between Shawn Michaels and John Cena, a fan in the front row leaped over the barricade and stormed the ring dressed in his underwear. Security jumped in and tackled the man, awarding him a lifetime ban for his nudist efforts. Cena and Michaels simply looked on in confusion because it's not every day that a fan charges the ring. Certainly not at WrestleMania, and certainly not in their briefs. Number 8. Randy Orton's Wannabe Challenger during a tour of South Africa in 2013, a fan jumped the barricade and attacked Randy Orton in what would be one of the most bizarre fan-related incidents in recent memory. As Orton was striking his signature pose on the turnbuckle, a mystery fan charged the ring and delivered a low blow to Orton in what looked like it was a worked punch. Orton sold the low blow, but when he turned around and saw that the attacker was a random fan, he looked like he was ready to beat the man down. Security jumped in and subdued the mystery attacker, after which Orton managed to boot the culprit in the head as he was dragged out of the ring. Things got stranger when it turned out that the ring invader was a local pro wrestler named Josie the Wrestling Machine. After security escorted Josie out of the building, the deluded fan filmed himself cutting a promo where he mentioned that he was coming to take Randy Orton out. WWE pressed charges against the man, and in court it was revealed that Josie attacked Orton because he wanted to get noticed by the WWE. He wrongly believed that WWE would be impressed with his creativity, but all Josie got was a criminal record, a black eye from Orton's kick, and a spot on WWE's blacklist. Number 7. Dean Ambrose's Mystery Aggressor The Shield must be a magnet for crazies, because at one time or another, all three members have been targets of bizarre intrusions from fans. In 2015, only two weeks after another fan had thrown a briefcase at Roman Reigns, another fan tried to get close to Dean Ambrose during a SmackDown taping in Providence, Rhode Island. Just as Ambrose was leaving the ring area, a fan rushed towards him but was abruptly halted by one of the security guards. The fan didn't manage to touch Ambrose at all, but it was later discovered that the mystery fan was brandishing a knife. Exactly what happened afterwards is a mystery because the man's identity was never revealed, but it's safe to assume he's been blacklisted from WWE events for life. We have to give big props to the security guard on this one because he was lightning fast in tackling the culprit and if not for him, it could have been a much different story. Number 6. Steve Austin's Attacker if you're going to try your hand at fighting a professional wrestler, it's probably best not to jump into the ring with prime Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H. They might not have been trained fighters, but the two burly guys are surely going to pack a punch, and one unlucky fan in Germany found this out the hard way back in 1998. During a European tour, the main event on the house show circuit was Stone Cold vs. Triple H. At a house show in Berlin, Germany, Austin hit Hunter with the stunner and got the three count. Then a rowdy Triple H fan stormed the ring and tried to attack Austin. 
Initially, Austin thought it was a rib from another wrestler, but he soon realized it was just a cocky fan who took wrestling a little too seriously. Austin couldn't do anything because he was the company's red-hot babyface, so attacking a fan under any circumstances was off-limits. However, Triple H had no such reservations, so he jumped the fan, slammed him down, and laid into him with right hands. The fan not only got banned from WWE events for life, but he got a few bruises in the shape of Triple H's fists too. Number 5. The Ladder Pusher most fans who interrupt matches tend to do so either before or after the bell has rung, but on a 2002 episode of Raw, one deluded fan involved himself right in the middle of the match. Eddie Guerrero took on Rob Van Dam in a ladder match for the ages, and during a spot where Eddie was climbing the ladder, a fan rushed into the ring and toppled the ladder over while Eddie was halfway up. But the man's attempts were no match for Eddie's cat-like agility, who landed on his feet and immediately began pummeling the intruder. Eddie later commented that he thought it was planned, but he had forgotten about it, but once he realized it was a crazed fan, Eddie had no hesitation in taking him down. Even with this little hiccup, Eddie and RVD went on to put on an instant classic. The match was so well received that it was rated one of the top 50 matches in Raw history. If not for Eddie's great athleticism, this could have gone a much different way. So the lesson here is that if you come at the king, you better not miss. Number 4. The Hall of Fame Invader while Bret Hart's status as one of the greatest of all time is never in doubt, his personality has awarded him his fair share of haters. In 2019, when Bret was being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame as part of the Hart Foundation, a crazed fan stormed the stage and assaulted the hitman, tackling him to the ground and landing a few punches against the legend. Security and other wrestlers quickly took the man down, although the mystery attacker put up a lot of fight. The culprit was eventually revealed as 26-year-old Zachary Madsen, an amateur MMA fighter and martial artist who, in the weeks leading up to the unprovoked attack, had sent out a series of strange tweets in which he challenged Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose to a match. He also made some misogynistic remarks towards Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch, the two wrestlers who'd be headlining WrestleMania the following night. Madsen was banned from WWE events and charged with two counts of assault, however, his motivation for surprise attacking the hitman has never been revealed. Number 3. The Batista Interrupter Fan interaction is part of every wrestler's job, but interactions usually take place in the arena, not the backstage area. Big Dave has a different story, because on an episode of Raw in 2008, Batista was interrupted by a determined fan while he warmed up in the locker room. The fan rushed in front of the camera and mimicked Batista's signature machine gun pose before being hilariously chased after by security. The jury is still out on whether this one was a work or not, since the theme of this episode of Raw was things going out of control. Either way, it was a pretty funny moment made all the better by Batista's reaction. Number 2. Finn Balor's Biggest Fan this is the only fan on this list to have been banned from WWE shows twice. In 2017, a young woman was shown in the crowd on NXT sporting a very non-PG sign that requested Finn Balor do bad things to her face. After the sign made it to live television, the woman was ejected from the building. But the determined woman returned, this time at an episode of Raw in 2018. A year later and her thirst for Finn Balor was still unquenched, so she sported the same sign again. The woman hadn't learned from her mistakes because again she was kicked out of the building for showing profanity on television, and this time it gave her a ban from all future WWE events. The woman in question turned out to be Felicia Rose, an adult performer and wrestling superfan who goes by the moniker The People's Tramp. It's a good nickname, but maybe only Finns would be more fitting. Number 1. Sonya Deville's Stalker some entries on this list have proved that wrestlers expose themselves to dangerous situations on a weekly basis, but the recent incident involving Sonya Deville is something straight out of a horror story. In 2020, a deranged fan began sending threatening messages to Deville via her Instagram, telling her that he was going to force Deville to give him what he wanted. Deville ignored the messages until a night in August 2020 when he messaged Deville again, telling her that he was outside her home and was going to break in and kill Deville. 
Deville's partner. When Deville's alarm system was triggered, she checked her patio area to find a masked intruder waiting for her. Deville fled the house in terror, called the police, and the suspect was caught within 10 minutes. That concludes our list of the 10 fans who are banned from WWE for life. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments below.